Good evening, gentlemen. Today, my lecture topic is on an influential grouping of Southeast Asia, particularly Central Asia, called the SCO, which stands for Shanghai Cooperation Organization. It is an organization that seeks political, economic, and security alliance. It is formed of eight members states that are namely, since it consists of the word Shanghai, the city Shanghai. So it is inevitable that China is a member. So number one is China. It is followed by Kyrgyzstan, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Tajikistan, which are members of Central Asia and a part of former Soviet Union. Talking about Soviet Union, you can't forget the sixth member, Russia, which lies in Northern Asia and Eastern Europe. This is followed by 7th and 8th member, namely our rivals India and Pakistan, which are members of South Asia. Now moving on, this uh, particular organization is also called the East NATO or the Eastern Grouping. Earlier, uh, it was formed or came into existence in the year 2003 on 12th of September. But at that point of time, uh, India, Pakistan and Uzbekistan were not its members. So it was called the Shanghai Five Grouping. Uzbekistan joined in the year 2001 and it was followed by India and Pakistan joining in 2017. It is an organization that, as I said earlier, seeks political, security and economic support and alliances. Now, it also conducts military exercises in order to enhance cooperation, coordination and to fight against terrorism and threats as such. The other members or the dialogue partners of SCO include four members. They are namely Iran, Afghanistan, Mongolia and of course Turkey. Also there are six dialogue partners. They are namely Azerbaijan, Armenia, Turkey, Nepal, Sri Lanka and Cambodia. This organization, since it contains Russia, China and India, which accounts to near about 36% of the global population and when it comes in terms of the global uh, area coverage, so it accounts for near about 20% of the global geographical area. It is an organization which is a very big regional player in the world and one of the largest regional player because as I said earlier it contains Russia, China and India. Now talking about the significance of India joining the SCO, so I think it does not have much significance because it contains its arc rivals namely Pakistan, China and Turkey. Turkey which becomes the recent, uh, which became the recent arc rival of India following the scrapping of Article 370 of India and its criticism of India. That is the uh, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan uh, do not, did not support the move openly and rather criticized the move of scrapping the Article 370. India retorted back by uh, supporting Armenia in the Armenia-Azerbaijan conflict, whereas Turkey supports Azerbaijan. Since uh, the presence of China is there, certainly uh, India will not be of any significance of joining NATO, but uh, of joining uh, SCO. But at the same time, not joining SCO and not engaging in its uh, summits would also not prove vital and not have positive ramifications and for that matter positive implications. So yes, India is there, a uh, significant part of Shanghai Cooperation Organization and recently also, as I speak, the Shanghai Cooperation, uh, Cooperation Organization Summit is going on in which the foreign ministers of all these eight member states have participated. Apart from that, this particular organization is also sometimes referred to as anti-NATO because it is an alliance, an organization which lies in the eastern part 
of whole of the world whereas nato is considered as the western part but it is for namesake only at last i would like to say that uh, because of the presence of the uh, rivals of india in the shanghai cooperation organization it would not be of much significance but uh, india being a part of it could clearly pave way for its own uh, economic development and to counter uh, territorial threats as posed by china and pakistan the china pakistan economic corridor the china's multi billion, uh, billion infrastructural projects like uh, obor etc so i feel that india being a part of it would only engage in talks and solve disputes through diplomacy thank you